came to power by the revolution. They supported the revolution toward the end of the 18th day, as I said earlier, but uh, they promised to leave the stage and hand over the power, the authority to the civilians within six months. They did not perform that. They did not keep their promise. But uh, anyway, in June, the elections of the president is, is, is scheduled for June, and the handing over will be most probably on the 1st of July 2012. Instead of 2013, they planned for as well as a part of the challenges facing us. Uh, we have, we have uh, after Barada resigned and, and uh, expressed his wish not to continue uh, running the, the, the elections for the presidency, most of the people now uh, uh, are either um, have uh, someone like uh, Abu Fatur or Al Awa or Hamdin Sabahi, who belongs to the Nasrits. Uh, but 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 Amr Musa is there, and uh, he is trying very strongly. And the army, the army, uh, or the military council did not announce someone yet. Maybe Mansour Hassan, who is uh, the chairman of the consultative uh, council. Uh, or maybe another general, we don't know exactly yet. And unfortunately, the Islamists who are in the parliament at present supported uh, unknowingly who will come, supported the proposal uh, in advance of the military council, unfortunately. And uh, the Muslim Brotherhood announced it very clearly many times that they will not select uh, a president uh, from an Islamic uh, orientation or Islamic reference uh, 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 items or so, uh, uh, which is, is, is uh, I do respect that we all work for the future. I have no, no objection at all, as I said many times, that even uh, if Margaret Thatcher was running elections in Egypt. She is a lady, she is a Christian. I, I, I would not mind. She's a horror. Uh, I, I know, I know. But I'm saying that to answer some questions in Egypt. Will, will the Islamists accept a, a Coptic or a Christian to be a president? I said yes, 100% since many, many years. Not only uh, a week or a month ago, but many, many years ago I said that and they gave an example of Margaret Thatcher. Now I'm saying if George Isha nominated or running the elections, I will be happy to elect him as a very good national figure than many others who may be in the parliament, but they don't care about the future of Egypt. Or Nuha Zaini, who is a counselor, she is a lady, she is a very good lady, a counselor, legal counselor, and the consultant who opposed Mubarak. We have many good people in Egypt who opposed Mubarak in his dictatorship and suffered for that. The, the, the problem of the president is still, we are waiting for the choice or the proposal from the military council, but we will reject it 100%, uh, as I said in Egypt many times, and uh, I am sure uh, many of the Islamists who are younger generations will not accept the leadership choice of the Muslim Brotherhood. I'm sure of that. Uh, so Egypt, Egypt is, 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 is in a transition period. And we need to have good relation with the West. And we need, yes, I, I, I say in Egypt in many occasions that uh, I, I, uh, <coughs> I still have, have uh, uh, a picture from London or an image from London or a scene from London I hope to see in every Arab country as well. The scene is uh, Rashid al Ghannoushi, who is now number one in Tunis, was in London as a migrant like me or in exile. Kamal Hilbawi was in London for many years. Bayanouni is still in London from Syria. 
and I hope he will one day he will go back to his country. And at the same time, the terrible Abu Hamza and Abu Qatada were here, but uh, they were respected as human beings. If anyone did something wrong, the court should be in waiting for him. And this is, this is human dignity. But in general, the foreign policy of the West, including Britain, is not tolerable, especially one main issue like Palestine. I wonder really how are the people who invaded the space and reached the moon and uh, implemented and brought to us uh, a very uh, advanced civilization in science and technology and communication, they are unable to understand justice for Palestine. I, I really, I need an answer. I need an answer. I need an answer from David Cameron, from uh, 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 Sarkozy, from Merkel, from Obama. I need an answer. These are, in 1948, I was uh, 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 more than 10 years uh, old. Uh, uh, but Israel was not there. I have Jewish friends who are really Jewish. They stay with me, they eat with me, they sleep with us at home. We are real friends, like Naturi Karti people, like uh, David West and, and, and hundreds of others who are real Jews and we respect them and we love them. We are brothers in humanity, if not in religion. Uh, but, but unfortunately, the ones we have in Israel, the Zionists, are not Jews. I, I, I'm happy with what usually my dear brother George Galloway says, atheist Jews. Um, even, even I say they are Zionists. They have nothing, nothing at all related to Jewish religion. Uh, Moses did not order people to kill each other. And, and the Christ did not ask people to kill each other or colonize each other or destroy each other or stop, for example, Iran from doing good research in atomic or, or, or energy space. We are living in one world. We say now a big village or a small village. Let us work together uh, and help each other for more advances. And, and, the, and the welfare of human beings, all of them. Uh, any of you is welcome to come to Egypt. I'll be happy to see him, to take him to Tahrir Square or any other place, or the pyramids, or Al-Azhar. Thank you very much. Bravo.